Hello and welcome to Pratikwise Administrator Fundamentals Accreditation Course Pratikwise Workflows and States In this lesson, we will learn what is a Pratikwise workflow and how we can use workflow states to track the progress and the status of Pratikwise documents. But before we go too far into it and discuss about workflow and states, we should modify our project-wise view to display workflow and state information in order to easily understand the benefits of implementing project-wise workflows into our work routine. From project-wise view menu bar, select manage views. Enable the option show global so that we can modify existing global views. From the existing views section, select basic view, then click modify. In the view properties dialog window, we won't need the object GUI ID and the folder GUI ID to be displayed in the basic view. So we will remove it by selecting it and click on the green left arrow button. We will need to add both workflow and state information to the view. So expand basic columns, then scroll down and double click on the state and workflow so that they will be added to the basic view. Go ahead and hit OK, then click close in the Manage Views dialog window. We will also need to reorganize the description column so that it can make room to display both state and workflow information on our screen. When users look at the drawings folder and with the project-wise view showing both the workflow and states information, it's very easy for every project-wise user to clearly see the documents that are still work in progress, meaning someone is still working on these documents. And so, superiors should not review any document that labels as work in progress. Once these documents are ready to be reviewed, users can select one or multiple documents and then right mouse click, change state, next. Any comment or feedback that we enter here is stored as audit trial information and associated with the actual document. And now these documents are clearly labeled as content check. No further changes should be performed on these documents until a superior has a chance to review them. At this time, there are no permissions set up to prevent users from working on these documents that are set to content check. In the next few lessons, we will go through how we can set up permission such that users can no longer work on the documents when they are labeled as content check. On top of that, we can also configure the permission so that only authorized individuals can move documents from one workflow state to another. After Superior has reviewed the documents, Superior can select individual document and move to the next state. Any comment or feedback that we enter here is stored as audit trial information and associated with the actual document. Now this document is ready for annotation. The other two documents that need further modification, Superior can select them, right mouse click, change state previous. We have just seen documents that can travel through from work in progress to content check and then to annotation and vice versa. These three states are actually part of the drawings workflow and there are a total of five states that documents will need to go through in the drawings workflow. Instead of using next and previous to move documents to a different workflow state one at a time, project-wise individual who has the right permission can move documents to multiple workflow states via the folder properties dialog window. On the workflow and state tab, we can clearly see that drawings workflow has been assigned to this folder and it has five states. The lowest being work in progress and the last state that documents will need to go through will be approved. Project-wise workflow is linear, meaning that it can travel from top to bottom and then reverse back one step at a time from the bottom all the way back to the top. Project-wise workflow doesn't allow documents to skip any state. The number of workflow states, the workflow name and the state's name are all configurable 
ahead of time by project wise administrator. Users who have the rights to move documents to multiple workflow states can select multiple documents, drag and drop them to the desired workflow state. For instance, documents have been revealed and no further changes are required, so documents will be directly moved to the approved state. Just to clarify, behind the scenes, these documents have been moved state by state, one at a time, and then to approve. Even though it is not visible in this dialog window, but it can be evident when we open the document properties dialog window and review it on the audit trail tab. Now that these two documents have been approved and we don't want any further modification to the documents, we can quickly set up these documents to read only by right mouse clicking on these two documents, change state, and then set final status. Again, we don't have to, but if we enter any information here, it will be recorded as audit trail information for this document. Go ahead and hit OK. We can see that the document icon has changed from pencil to a key tag. Right mouse clicking on the document showing that the checkout and the check-in is grayed out as we can no longer modify the document. Opening the document will bring up a dialog window letting us know ahead of time this will open the document as read-only and we cannot make modification to the document. Go ahead and click no. Now that we have seen what ProjectWise workflow is and how ProjectWise documents can take advantage of its workflow states to track the progress of documents. And since this workflow states information is associated to documents, users can search documents using the workflow state as a search criteria. For example, run a search to return documents that have already been approved so that we can set the final status for these approved documents. If we truly need to unlock the document so that changes can be made, we can select the document, right mouse click, change state, remove final status. But since it is grayed out, it reminds us that this is actually a user setting and ProjectWise Administrator can decide which ProjectWise user should have the authority to remove the final status and unlock the document, and who shouldn't have this authority. But to demonstrate, since we are the administrator, we are going to check out where that user setting is via the ProjectWise menu bar, Tools, Options, and then on the settings tab in the document section, enable the option can remove final status. Once this user setting is enabled for a user, user can right mouse click on the document, change state and remove final status. Go ahead and select yes and explain the reason that we need to unlock the document. We can see that the document icon now has changed back to pencil, meaning that this document is now editable. In the next few lessons, we will learn how to create project-wise workflows and states and assign the states to the workflows. We will also learn how to associate a workflow to a folder. Project-wise workflow itself is pretty simplistic. If we need to display a more user-friendly menu instead of next and previous, or when a document is being moved to a different state, we want a version of the document to be automatically created. Then I will highly recommend you to review the advanced workflow module in the advanced accreditation course. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and share it with others. If you want to see more like it, please consider subscribing to this and Bentley's other channels. Thank you and see you next time.